Genius Max Design 2011 feature a powerful new SketchUp file translator allowing you to bring SketchUp version 6 or 7 files into 3ds Max Design 2011. So let's import that SketchUp file that we were just looking at into 3ds Max Design. When importing new SketchUp files, SketchUp entities such as layers, groups, components, materials and camera are now supported. You'll be able to choose in which folder to extract the embedded SketchUp texture, but by default, 3ds Max Design will place the texture within the project folder image directory. The Daylight System will be transformed into Mental Ray Daylight System, and the Mental Ray Photographic Exposure Control will be automatically turned on. And there you go. You can notice here the sun, and also the SketchUp camera that was set up in the SketchUp model. So the model come in clean, and you don't have to redo anything. Let's have a closer look at the materials that were created. They were transformed into architecture and design material, and the texture are automatically applied to it, like it was in SketchUp. If I open the image folder, you'll see all the texture files needed in this particular project that were extracted from the SketchUp project. From here, with hardware shading enabled, it will be more efficient to create lighting, improve the material quality using the extensive preset of Autodesk Material Library or the architecture and design materials, and adjust your exposure control while having direct feedback in the viewport. You will be able to output high-quality photorealistic rendering directly from the imported SketchUp model without losing any time. In addition, you now have access to thousands of free SketchUp models from the 3D Warehouse section of the Google website. You'll be able to find objects, accessories, main landmark building, and model to fill in your 3D scene. When downloading directly from the 3D Warehouse, you'll be able to import the model directly in 3ds Max Design. But this time it will check the double-sided material option so that arbitrary surface orientation don't cause model to appear to be missing faces when displaying in 3ds Max Design. Once again, you'll be able to extract the texture from the SketchUp model in a specific directory if needed. Once imported, the model will come in clean, the original pivot and scaling values of objects and instance will be preserved, so you don't have to redo the work. You can turn on the hardware shading on, and display the viewport background to have direct feedback on your viewports. You will be able to navigate through all the existing SketchUp camera within 3ds Max Design. If I do a quick render of this imported SketchUp model, you'll see that the render is clean and exactly like it is represented in the viewport. While moving inside the church, and adjusting the exposure control to an indoor scene, I'll have a look at these imported double faces materials. We'll get the material from the scene and have a look at the double side material. So first of all, you'll notice that they're both using architecture and design material and the wall on the inside is using a stone texture as you can see here. And if I look on the back side of this wall, the material is using a different texture, which is showing on the exterior wall of my church. So you'll see here that the texture is totally different. So those are double-sided material, and they came set up as they were in SketchUp. By the fact that you can now import SketchUp files directly in 3ds Max Design, you now have access to thousands of light 3D models from the 3D Warehouse website that will help you accessorize your 3D projects.